Hey guys, in this video, we will see one of the important question which is asked in many of the Java interviews that there is a digit given, let's say, I will say a digit given to and there's a series given, okay, let's say from 1 to 22 and you need to count or I will say counter you need to count how many times this 2 comes in this series okay so if you see that if we count it then it come once when we count from 1 to 10 then it come twice when we count it from 11 to 20, 20 because uh, in 12 we we get one and then in 20 to 0 we get one more time so so that's been three time up to from 1 to 20 then uh, at digit 21 we get it one more time at digit 22 we get two times because this two occur two times so three more time up to 22 so three three counter counter would be three up to 20 and up to 22 it would be six so we get the answer as six and if we have to write a program how can we do that okay so that's the question and uh, I will just keep it comment as it is so that it's easy to write a program. So I will say int digit equal to 2, simple. And then int, uh, I will make it, it is a series. So you can give any variable name. I'm giving x. So I will give it as 22. Okay. So later on, you can even change this number, but still you should get a correct answer. So here I will create one counter. Okay, because right now I don't have a counter, so I will just create one variable counter, initialize with the value zero. And now I will create a for loop so that I can go through the series. So I will say for int uh, from i equal to zero till i is less than equal to x i plus plus. Okay, so this for loop will uh, go ahead and it will iterate all the uh, series from 0 to uh, other number that is 22. So from 0 to 22 it will iterate. Okay, and now I will create one temporary variable. I will say n equal to i. Okay, and uh, I, can, I can start with 0 or I can start with 1s, right? So that's up to me how I want to do that. Because it depends upon what the digit is. If you have uh, asked the user to digit, digit, put a digit from 1 to 9, you don't have to you know, go through the 0. You can just go through 1. Okay. So here I am saying int n equal to i. So that's a temporary variable which I have print. And now the main logic start. Now I will put another for loop okay, or maybe a while loop. And here I will say till the time this n, the temporary variables, is greater than zero okay so what I am doing right now I am I have to take a mode for example this n is 2 to 1 or maybe for simplicity purpose let me write it 3 to 1 okay so when I will say uh, mode so I will say int mode equal to I will say x not x n percentage 10 all right so what should it, it should give me when I say mode equal to n percentage 10 so it should actually give me a mode value and that would be 1 because if you see that just just uh, understand this x right now is 321 which will be the value of x in the last loop okay so right now I am saying that uh, this I would be 2 321 in the last loop so right now first understand the last loop then maybe you can backtrack it and then you will understand how it will work for the other digits also or for the other numbers in the series let's say my i has become here my i has become 3 to 1 okay so so i have took it into the temporary variables now it's saying if 3 to 1 is greater than 0 yes it is i'm creating a mode of that so mode would be 1 okay so here I am creating a mode, but still I need to find out the remaining number. So I will say n equal to n divided by 10. Okay. Now, 
uh, remaining would be So the remaining would be 32, okay? So in this loop, if the value of n is 321, when I say n mode 10 or 321 mode 10, it will give me 1. And when I say 321 divided by 10, it will give me 32. So this is how it works. Like uh, in this while loop, I will try to divide this number 321 again and again till it is greater than 0, okay? And now I will put a condition here. I will say if mode, okay, so the number which I found out if one is equal to equal to the digit, okay, so digit which has been inputted by the user, if it is digit, so that's mean we need to increase our counter. So I will say counter plus plus, okay, so this will increase the counter for me, all right, and uh, so it would be one, so there would be no counter, but in two, there would be a counter. Let's understand that when we say if mode equal to equal to digit, so mode is one, one equal to equal to digit, is it, is it true or false? It is false. So it will not consider that, it will not increase my counter. It will again go to n, n is greater than zero. Now see, n will become, you know, my n is 32 here. So the 32 is still uh, greater than zero. It will say 32 percentage 10. So the next time the mode will be, uh, it will be two, okay? And uh, the remaining with the remaining uh, number would be, let me just copy that. Okay, so the remaining number would be three. It will say mode equal to equal to digit. So yes, my mode is two and my digit is also two. So it will do a counter plus plus, it will plus plus the counter, okay? Next time my, n it says n divided by 10 so in the next time my n would be 3 okay so next time my n would be 3 so 3 is still greater than 0 so this is the last loop of this uh, number 321 I will say mode n mode 10 so mode will become now 3 okay and the remaining would be 0 okay so this n is 0 so remaining or you can say n n equal to 0 so mode is equal to digit, no, it's false, it again go up for it, and now my n which is there is 0. So it is 0 is greater than 0, false, this while loop will end, and now it will again go back and it will go to the next number, okay. So right now I took the example of 321, okay, let's uh, assume that this uh, series is up to 500, okay. So I just took the example of 321. Now the when I go up the i value will increase so the number will become 322 right 322 so the same way we have just done a mode and just a division of that number and compare this n value it will work for all the numbers so the, that's the reason like uh, I just took this bigger uh, number 321 322 so that you can understand how this mode and division works okay so let me just remove this uh, Okay, let me remove this one and let me remove this one. Okay, so the series start from 1 here. So that's the reason i is 1. So from i1 to the number, now I will take a smaller number just to see our results are correct because I assume that it would be 6. 2, two are 6 up to number 22. Okay. So this is how I should get. Now, once this for loop is over, I can just print the counter. So I will say system dot out dot print ln one second. System dot out dot print ln. And here I will say counter equal to counter. So that's it. This is the just program which will give me a number of occurrence. And let me just run that. Okay, so the counter is six. Okay, let me just see. So I will say total one second. I think this should print outside. 
So let me print only once. Okay. Oh yeah. Now it's it's uh, run again. So it gives me counter six. Okay. So this is how it should work. And you can put any number here. You can put five here, up to twenty-two. Let's see how many fives are there. So I guess it would be just two. Two, one is five, fifteen, that's it. Yep, it's coming two. And now if I say up to twenty-five, then five up to twenty-five, I think it should come five because it will be five in the first series, one to ten, then fifteen, then uh, twenty-five, three times. Yeah, three times I think. See? Say how many fives comes in 200. Let's see, it comes 20 times, right? So, yeah, this is the way through which you can uh, count how many times a digit is coming in a particular series. So, it's very simple. I have just looped through the series, this is very understandable, and then I have created an inner loop. In this inner loop, I am every time I am taking one digit from that series. And then I'm dividing that digit. For example, I have given you the number of 321 in an example or any number you can take. So if you have some number and now you need to divide that number, how you do that? In this inner loop, you divide the number by doing a mode and a division of that. So in every mode you will get, first you will get four, then you will get two, then you will get three, then two, then three, and then two. And then you can compare this digit with uh, the actual digit uh, which you want to see if it's equal or not. If it's equal, you just need, need to increase the counter. So I think uh, that is, uh, I think the most easiest way I have told you how you can find it. There can be another way also, but I think this is the best way to find the number of occurrence in uh, of a digit in a series. All right, so thank you for watching. Have a great day.